Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use for loops with dictionaries. I have built a dictionary here, remember curly brackets for a dictionary, and then I have a key and a value, another key and another value, another key and another value, and so on, creating my list of elements. And then I close the curly brackets, that's my dictionary. Then in order to loop around the values in the dictionary, we can use the key. So we can say for key in D, our dictionary. I have a line that will say just the letters K, E, Y, and then the colon. I end it with a space. So the next thing that gets printed is following on the same line. I don't go to the next line. And I'm just printing the key. That means that this for loop is going to go through the dictionary and print animal, food, nature, building, college, country. Then we have another text string saying the word value and column, then not finishing on that point, continuing writing on the same line. And then to access the value that is associated with each of those key, what we do is the square brackets and the key. And this is going to find cat, rice, river, and so on. Okay, if we run it, we get the following. Key country value Ireland, key food value rice, and so on. Okay, so if we didn't have those ending characters with the space, every line would be typed into a new line. So we would have key and then the key underneath, then value and then the value underneath, and so on. So everything would be in a one horizontal, uh, sorry, in a vertical column going down. Okay, now we're going to have a look at this. I'm going to uncomment this bit of code. Okay, I swapped the comments from top to bottom. Okay, so now what we're going to do is use a list that contains some, not all of them, some of the keys to access the values in the dictionary. So I have a list that I have created with some of the keys that, that could come from the user or come from some other calculation. And then I have a for loop for item in C in my list up here. So for each element in this list, we're going to iterate through the elements and we're going to print the item. And on the next line, because I'm not using the end character space, on the next line, I'm going to print the value associated to that key in the dictionary D. Okay, so if we run this, we're going to get in different lines, animal, the, val the key animal corresponds to the value cat, the key food corresponds to the value rice, and the key nature corresponds to the value river. Okay, so these are two ways of looping around values within a dictionary. So we always need the key to access the value. 